Our audit report is back from Quantstamp, and so let's take a look at three areas worth discussing from the report. First, we'll cover the use of decimals within the ERC-20 spec and its consideration within our protocol. Then we'll look at flash loans and how it may or may not impact us. And finally, we will discuss the elevated admin privileges that our multi-sig will have and what it can and cannot do. The first two points of feedback from QuantStamp are around the potential misuse of decimals and the assumed constant number of decimals used within the underlying and collateral. So we made certain assumptions when developing the protocol, and one of those assumptions is that the underlying and collateral types will not have a variable number of decimals with respect to precision of the ERC-20 tokens. This is a reasonable assumption, and in fact, I can't think off the top of my head of any ERC-20 that I know of and use regularly that does have a variable number of decimals. Next, let's talk about how flash loans may impact our protocol. Throughout the last several months, DeFi has been plagued with various exploits where very smart people can become very rich for very short periods of time. And this allows for certain economic exploits. So it's important that these types of exploits are guarded against. Now flash loans can be a very powerful tool for things that we really want. For example, one of the bots that we're writing to help keep our system over collateralized leverages flash loans in order to help us liquidate under collateralized positions. This is a good thing. Now, there may be circumstances in which somebody having access to at-scale capital to exploit some arbitrage opportunity that is unfavorable for our users may happen. Now, as we've looked at various circumstances that could exist, we haven't found anything that suggests that we need additional protections. But nonetheless, we want to be vigilant and aware that these types of attack vectors do exist and we will continue to look for ways in which we can protect against them and hedge against uh, poor user experiences for people using our protocol. Finally, let's discuss what the elevated privileges of the admin role can and cannot do. When developing a trustless protocol, we set out to essentially have as little control over it as possible. Now, there are circumstances which we can imagine where it may be nice to be able to stop the deposits of funds into these contracts. Within the protocol, we put controls at certain points that allows the admin special privileges to stop certain behaviors from being able to occur. We explicitly did not grant ourselves the privilege of stopping withdrawals within the protocol. So what's left? So while the protocol itself is ready for launch, we still need to finish up our user interface, the proxy contract, and do a private beta before we launch. And we need to take into account our assumptions we made around decimals, which in my judgment is quite reasonable. We need to remind ourselves that flash loans exist, that they can be used for good and for nefarious purposes. And finally, that our admin role has certain elevated privileges that can do nothing except pause deposits into our protocol if we find that circumstance desirable.